Hello guys and welcome back to Valkyria Chronicles with yours truly the Commander 293 of the Ranger Guild. Welcome back. Last time we managed to successfully escape from Brule with the help of our father's World War I tank. That is not a World War I tank in the slightest. It is... I'll have to... I wish this game would let me put... When we finally get to see the equipment and the units and the weapons and everything, I am going to show you this tank... And why it's not just some standard tank. And no, I'm not just talking about the fact that it's been souped up. I am talking this, the tank that the Gallians that you get in this game is absolutely astronomically just well beyond what you should be able to get. But anywho, let us start the uh, the start the next chapter of va the uh, Vassal Urban Warfare. Which is another way of saying uh, your uh, capital city is under attack. So uh, hippity hoppity imperialists, get off my property. If you guys have enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, comment below, and if you're new to the channel and like what you see, please hit the subscribe in March button. Of 1935, oh wait, the Basil's not the, its invasion across Gallia's not the, border. but it's close to the capital. But if you do enjoy the video, hit the like button, comment below, and if you're new to the channel and like what you see, please hit the subscribe Maximum button and bell icon to know when I'm uploading more awesome videos. Built his army around mobile armor. Girlendio and the other fortresses along the border fell to his tanks in quick succession. Bruel's fall in under two hours was typical of villages in the Empire's path, and the road to the capital bore a steady flow of refugees. This is pretty typical. Civilians have this really, uh, with exceptions obviously, but most civilians don't want to get stuck in the line of fire. Unlike the Watch Guard and others, Grand so. Greece, Gallia's capital, a town secure oh, look at this! So you can see the capital city is the very, Greece, definitely older style. Spire, uh, Cordelia, Gallia's princess. Yeah. So okay. So Gallia's princess is the reason why it's still called a principality because she therefore controls the principality. Supporting Gallia's policy of neutrality was a system of universal conscription. Under it, all schools required military training each year. In the event of a war, citizens were then drafted into the militia to defend their country. So basically, they're doing the same thing as the Israeli Defense Force, where they have you serve a little bit before, with the in case something worse, like this happens. Both Welkin and Alicia found themselves no exceptions to that fate. Which is pretty standard, because if you're getting invaded, you kind of need people to kind of, hopefully, to buzz off the invaders. Uh, most countries don't exactly just, you know, kind of lie down and just take it. A lot of them will try and attempt to fight back. So these are my new digs. Oh, my uniform. Ooh, look at that beautiful uniform. I would like to mention that their uniform that they're using, the color, very reminiscent of the French uniform. That light blue is just mm, beautiful. I do love that uniform. I should get changed before reporting in. Better get ready now. I will try to connect uh, historical stuff to this game because I just want to. So forgive me. Maybe I'll learn something. Maybe you'll learn something. So. Flares, binoculars, a compass, and a map. So if you see here, he's got a unicorn with the seven, which in the further in the game, we will find out that marks his squad. The symbol on his other shoulder there, his right shoulder, is the symbol of Gallia. He's wearing a cap because apparently these people don't even know how to wear a proper helmet or don't have available helmets which is weird but I'll, I'll believe it and around his neck is his ability to communicate with others inside of his tank it's a little weird but i'll pass it along because it it's probably doable everything you need for a nice hike or combat and he's also wearing webbing and if you look at the shoulder pads it likely will eventually bear his rank if it doesn't already bear a symbol of the rank which is what most of the shoulder um things were for they were just there to really just kind of tell you he was in charge, basically. Welkin? Can I come in? No, I'm changing. Sure, it's open. Oh, you're already changed, too. Let's see. So... Not bad, not bad. The thing about you this game is that it's actually. not completely historical, obviously. So, their armor in, for across the game is very interesting. So, how about me? Do I look all right in this? Convincing? So, 
I'll, I'll get Let's to it. Let's take a look. <laughs> yeah, you look fine. You wear it like a pro. Really? You're not just saying that? I do like, uh, again, it's kind of weird that she keeps the thing, but I think that's just, it's kind of like how Band of Brothers had a lot of the characters sometimes take their helmets off in the middle of a combat zone where they would not necessarily do so because, you know, they have to find a way to make people see um, who's who for the character. So I'm going to let it slide. You know, you got to find a way to see which character switch because if everyone had helmets on, you'd be like, who the fudge is who? You'd have to find another way to signify them, which in some are just symbols on the helmet or symbols upon them, or maybe just different colors, like the um, the Imperials do. Of course not. You look tough. I like it. She's going to oh, have boy. the Shock Trooper armor, or Stormtrooper, kind of um, which is basically the frontline troopers. No way. That plating on the back? It's like a coleopterid exoskeleton. Beetle-tastic. And Welkin just being an absolute geek nerd that we all love. And you cannot deny me on that one. Colio what? And did you just say Beetle? Yes. Yes, he did. Uh, Welkin? Doesn't know how to talk to a girl. Yes. Uh, tell me something new. What kind of girl wants to hear that she looks like a bug? Huh? Not just any bug. A rhinoceros beetle. King of the insects. Who wouldn't want that? Uh, welcome to not getting the message, guys. Don't worry, it gets better in the in this game, I think. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, this boy is gonna get ripped. Uh-huh. I guess I'll just try to take that as a very Welkin sort of compliment. Yes, yes, you will. Tell me about that scarf. You've been wearing it since I met you. Oh, this? It's part of my uniform from the bakery. Believable, you do want, you know, I'm not going to go into too much because I don't know anything about a bakery, but yeah, believable. Is that right? I don't want to forget the time I spent busting my buns baking. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. I plan to keep wearing it until I can get back to manning the ovens again. That's great. Once you do, I'll be first in line to get some of that bread. Oh, will ya? Is that a promise? Well, I'll be sure to have plenty of it ready and waiting for you. Yeah, it was promise. Gosh. Terrible me. Absolutely. Hey, if you're ready... We should probably go see the captain now. Yeah, because you probably want to go make sure that, you know, they're not going to look at you like, What the fudder, dude? So when you see the um, C and D stuff, that basically what I'm getting from the look of it is that sub-chapters within the same chapter that you'll do all in one single thing. Like, they'll go from one next to the next. But let us continue. Come in. Excuse me, ma'am. What? Galleon Militia Enlistee, Welkin Gunther. Reporting for duty. Ma'am. Galleon Militia Enlistee Alicia Melkiot, also reporting for duty. I'm Captain Eleanor Varat, commander of this regiment. Which is pretty high up the chain Captain of command. Promoted to lieutenant. You'll be leader of Squad 7 now. I'll talk Ma about the squads in Enlistee a bit. Melkiot, you're promoted to sergeant. You'll be under the lieutenant's command. Understood? Ma'am! What do you know? It is you. Nice coincidence, huh, Welkin? All of you? I had no idea that you'd enlisted. Yeah. Now that there's a real war going on, I joined up. Pretty much all the officer and training boys are here just like you. You know each other? Yes, ma'am. We knew each other at university. Welcome was in science and I was in archaeology. Pretty standard in a peaceful and place. Just look at us now. No archaeology or science. By the way, the Looks guy like on the, the right, Faudio, is the main water, character of the Valkyria Chronicle anime. You, you, you may, you. if you've seen That'll the anime, you understand now. that There's Welcome couldn't. Later today, but you still have time. Time for you to catch up. 
that he's in charge he's because they didn't want the post, you know the exact game I guess I don't know they'll be your new home so get to know them that'll be all report back in time for the briefing until then you're dismissed so with all right here we are all right we're gonna go to hopefully be able to look at the members yep so we got already got a few so we got bridget stark so oh she's a scout my bad and then she's the shark trooper he's the lancer okay so we already have a few So this is just the barracks scene who we got. We'll obviously be able to recruit later. It's good to see you doing the rounds. Welcome. Gotta have to. This is the command room. Use it to structure your squad. Yep. You will have access to both drafted and volunteer recruits. Now that I think of it, Squad 7 is still short on soldiers. There's only it? like... Four of us, I'll so how yeah. This, works. this is the master list. The recruits have all been assigned classes based on their talents. I should probably touch on the five. First off, you have the scouts. Just like the name suggests, they'll be. Your so let's eyes. look at this. Look at this. That is a highly mobile uh, suit. So as you can see, the armor that they really have is on their shoulders, their knees, and their hips. As well as their elbows, it looks like. Um, but nothing across their chest or anywhere else. And the reason why is tenfold. It's a scout. You don't want them heavily laden with armor. You don't want them heavily laden with equipment. They just have enough to get into a fight and get out of the fight if they need to. Like that. And also, they are typically standard with the rifle, as we've seen before. We've been using a lot of scouts so far, but now that we're in a squad, we'll be using some others in a moment. Their best asset is their mobility. They can go out, collect intel, then make it back safely. Not like you're going to use them like that, but it's good to that. Or maybe we will use a few of them like that, but it's good to see them doing that. That, and a keen eye for enemies. A good scout can spot a man in tall grass from a hundred yards. Pretty good. Yeah, pretty true. That comes at the price of firepower. Their job is spotting enemies, not taking them out. Which explains why they only have a simple rifle instead of some of the other weapons. Next up, the Shock Trooper. They're the ones to break through enemy lines and clean up. So even though they don't have anything on their chest, we can assume that maybe their chest... If you look at them, that is uh, seriously just like, fudge you, whoever comes at me. So they have two... So they have uh, armor and they have equipment along their arms completely from top to bottom. Um, they have it still on their on their hips and they also have most likely on their... I think I can see it also on their legs. Um, if you notice, they have a lot of pouches for all the ammo. The weapon they're using... So the Imperials use one that looks more like an MP40. I think the Federation does as well. This one... It, mm, it's kind of hard to say specifically what weapon we could see it as. I think if we look at it in a different one, we'll see a different version, but... Um, wow, this, this is going to be a long video just because of this. I'm going over this too much. Ah, whatever. I hope you guys enjoy it at least. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know. Um, it could be like an MP28, I think was like the, the precursor to the MP40. But someone does, I, I don't quote me on that because MP40, I know a little more, but not the MP28. They offer excellent offense and defense. As far as combat goes, they're as good as it gets. Yeah, Shark Trooper is supposed to be your vanguard. They're supposed to be the guys in front of the advance team. Um, basically, if the scouts are way out, keeping an eye around, the vanguard is actually your frontline troops. They're the ones who are doing just about everything. While they lack any specialized techniques, they also don't have any obvious shortcomings. Meaning they're a jack-of-all-trades. Uh, jack-of-all-trades, master of none situation. Think of them as the least finicky unit in your squad, Lieutenant. After them, we have lancers, then anti-tank units. Okay. When facing okay. Armored targets. This is basically where the historical takes is almost completely out the window. There are some exceptions, though. So first off, if you look at them, armor is focused on the entire area that is facing the enemy, which is 
good. It's like a Space Marine from Warhammer 40k's armor. They have a giant pauldron on their shoulder that they use to face towards the enemy like a giant shield. This is how they're able to soak up a lot more damage. Very nice. Uh, it's still the same armor around them, but not too much. Um, now their weapon. You might be like, alright, this is completely bogus. There's no real weapons. Well, there was a couple of weapons that were similar to this. The closest you saw to this is this 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 weapon right here is actually a mixture of two. It's a mixture of a Pounder Faust, which was the um, German ant light anti-tank weapon back in World War II that was a one-shot like launcher, but it's also mixed with the Japanese tank lance. Yes, they literally put a t anti-tank bite on a lance, and the Japanese soldier would th charge into a tank, blowing themselves up with the tank because it was a shaped charge. This basically takes the best of both worlds, able to shoot a lance, you know, a lance-like weapon, but able to shoot off a rock, basically a small uh, shaped projectile at the enemy, which is kind of nice. Their purpose is pretty self-explanatory. In most cases, they're the only way to stop a tank. Yeah, basically. They're also well shielded from explosives, which conveniently includes tank mortars. Which is basically the, the special uh, HE rounds that the tanks all use. Sadly, they're slow and weak to gunfire. Their limited ammo could also be called a drawback. Yeah, I don't understand at all how they can be weak to... I mean, if, if you want, honestly, they don't have a lot of armor on their other parts of their body, so maybe that's why. But if, like, you're facing, like, an enemy and all that shot's coming towards the, there, like, you should be able to take it, right? Unless all of that's basically for shrapnel. Changing gears, we have the engineers. They handle supplies and perform combat support. So if you see the engineer very not armored really at all, they have a grenade though. They have a lot of tool and equipment, which is basically another way of saying they do everything else that your guys, other guys can't do. In this case, I'm going to just say it right now. They repair your tanks. They're going to do this. They're going to be able to... They can restock other yeah. units' ammunitions, treat the wounded, even repair tanks on site. Yeah, so they're your... Ammo boys, they're powder monkeys, they're your repairmen, and they are also apparently your medics. I don't know how, but I'm going to allow it because I they can, can see place it. sandbags for cover, disarm mines, repair towers, you name it. Yeah, a nice, a nice little general round for everything. Their actual combat skills are very low. Think of them as combat facilities. These guys are like scouts. But instead of being really, really fast and really good eyes, there's they have they're armed like a scout, but they're kind of designed to not be a scout. They're they're supposed to be in like the back lines. Lastly, we have the snipers. Ooh. They can shoot down targets oh, from man. a considerable distance. So if you look at him, his armor is not much. He's much like the other guy. But he has different gloves, he has different armbands, we're going to call them. Uh, but look at the weapon. I'm going to say that the closest representation we have of a weapon to that is, if I'm going to look at it, I'm thinking the Shma the British uh, Shmali rifle, the British World War One rifle, uh, with the scope. I think that's the closest we're getting to because of that magazine. You won't find better soldiers for marksmanship and range. They can hit targets I can barely see. Which is, yeah, their job. But they're also supposed to be the way back lines. You don't want them too far front. Sniping rifles also come with scopes that work to augment a sniper's natural eyesight. Which is true. Drawbacks include low mobility and defense. If the enemy gets them alone, they're done for. Yeah, d they typically in real life get paired up with a spotter as well as they get paired. Typically they get sent to the back lines where they can be overwatching the units or they get sent out on their own to do havoc across the enemy's back lines that should cover the basics obviously if you when we play Valkyrie chronicles or more we'll get added unfortunately we don't have two and three because that would also include some other cool units but no, we're not Go ahead lucky and put a squad together now there's room for 20 and you can swap units at any time so what we're going to do is probably going to have to split up this entire uh this specific um Oh, yeah. We are going to want everyone and their buddy. Okay. 
So we got all sorts of dudes and ladies as well. So what we're going to do... So... Pollen, Lone Will... We don't want them. We'll we'll grab a couple of Marine little bit of everything. At your command. We'll grab both of the snipers. This also is where we get to see their potential info. Uh, the potentials are both negative and positive as well. We'll grab them as well. Hello, I'm Catherine O'Hara. I look forward to joining you all. And she's freaking Scottish. What the fudge? Okay. All right. Next. Um... We just a single digit. Ugh. Okay. No. We'll want to grab him too. My name's Carl Lanzett, sir. It's a pleasure to join you. So we'll grab him. We'll also grab him. We're gonna grab just kind of a little um, bit of everyone. Herbert Nielsen is me. I mean, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll try. Yeah, he's probably. All right, so we definitely want to start looking. Even though we already have Largo as one, we need more. We'll get up him. I'm Niels. Niels Darden. I'll see you on the field. As you know, you may start noticing there are some... Um... Oh, Darkson? No, no, no. But we will take this one. The name's Walter Nash, buddy. Pleasure to be working with you. This guy looks like freaking wannabe Elvis Presley. Tell me I'm wrong. Alright, so we got 11 open slots left, so... All right, let's look at the shock troopers. Lancer killer. Ooh, we can do that one. Salinas Milton, at your service. Impator. Yep, we want him. Hange Salinger, reporting for duty. He looks sir. like Rambo. We'll get this one too. The name's Vice Engelbard. Let's go kick this war in the teeth. I don't know why he's got a monocle like that, but I like it. I really do. Oh, so we want them outside again. Eh, we can do that. I'm Wendy Cheslock. <laughs> Kaboom. Oof. Please remind me to lock my door from that one. Lancer Hater, Country Break, Camp Defender. We can keep her in camp then. That basically would be... And I look forward to a good workout out there. Okay. Child Nature, Lancer Killer, Imp Hater. Oh, so come here. The name's Jane Turner. I'll do anything if it means putting holes in imps. If you think the Darkson stuff was the worst, trust me. Uh, once you realize these guys are around, yeah. We'll get him. Dark Please, Sabah. call me Wavy. From today onward, we fight together. Well, we can, we can use it for anyone who, who doesn't mind. What the fuck is that? <laughs> okay. Uh, I, understandable. Bad back. You really... Oh. I'm Nochi Wordsworth. Hi. Nice. Eh... Eh, eh, mm. I mean, they like people, which is nice, but I'm really looking for their... We'll get this one. My name is Susie Evans, sir. I realize I'm inexperienced, but I'll do all I can. I'm pretty sure that's the majority of you all, so you'll all just be bodies in general. We'll definitely take this one. We may have a lot I'm of guys running around. Handsome. I know you'll take real good care of me. And that is thirst. I've never thirst as bad as that. All right, so we're going to pollinate. Eh, 
claustrophobic, which metal bread. All right, we'll get Hermes. I'm Hermes Kissinger. With me here, your squad will get twice the girls. Yeah, this. Doubt it. All right. That's everyone. Well, feel like you've struck a balance? Come back anytime you'd like to adjust your squad. As time passes, we'll have more recruits to choose from, so keep an eye on that list. Oh, and all the recruits go through training together. So they're all ready Which for means combat. so you don't have to worry about one guy being lower than They'll the rest. Be at the same level as the rest of the team you've taken into the field. Which is good. You can swap out members without the worry of losing the benefit of their experience. Which is oh, that would be a Trust pain. in your own judgment and pick a team you know you can work well with. That should be enough to get you started. You can figure out the rest as you go. Yep. All right. But anyway, I think that's gonna be it for the. Wow. Squad leaders a lot <coughs> of responsibility. Video after we get through all the cutscenes. Come to think of it, Faldio's heading up Squad One, isn't he? I wonder if he's off sorting through this stuff now too. I'd better get a move on. Yep. And with that, we have done the command room. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button, comment below what you enjoyed, and if you're new to the channel, like what you see, please hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to know when I'm uploading more awesome videos. See you on the next one, my friends. See you in the Warfield, my Rangers. Bye bye.